Hi guys, uh, in our last session, we have seen how to create own private Windows build agent. And uh, as you can see here, if we go into project settings, under agent pools, our own self-hosted Windows agent, we have created this type of agent which is running right now. Now in this session, we will see how this build agent can be used uh, to create our builds for that we need a project and I have taken one of the github projects from here ASP.NET Core Web API sample so this project can be downloaded from this link and then you can unzip this project to update this project into online DevOps you can open your Visual Studio and then go to Team Explorer. Click this Manage Connections and connect to a project. And here, the same test repo which you have created there, you can create a clone now. So, clone it. So, once this is created, you can go and see it here under that path we have your test and the git files are there and we'll copy our project files from this one and place them here after that you can open this solution in visual studio After opening the project, you just rebuild once just to make sure that there is no problem with this building the project and then try to run it to see how it looks like. You should be able to see this API Swagger definition. And now we will upload or I should say commit this project to DevOps Online. So you have to go to Team Explorer here and then click here changes just to see all the new files which we have created in this project. Just mention a comment and then commit all. So this project is now ready to be synced with DevOps Online. I will show you here in this DevOps, we don't have any project files right now. So we'll press sync and these are the files ready to push and that's it the project is pushed to devops online we'll come back here just refresh this and the project is available here now so now we will see how we can build this project in vsds ci pipeline on the left side here you see pipelines click on this Go to builds then click on new pipeline uh, there is different places from where you can pick up your code we'll use this classic editor uh, this is more uh, better to see and understand it says select your repository and ours is in azure repos git you can also have your project in github and then pick up from there to build it now our team project and repository name master branch then continue uh, either you can start with a empty template otherwise there are lots of templates provided by uh, microsoft so ours is asp.net project so we'll pick up asp.net template apply and then you will see uh, most of the task is done by pipeline itself you see there are lots of tasks added by default to run this project we'll go one by one we'll start from pipeline here First is a name, so we can rename this. We can say uh, ASP uh, new project and agent pool. Now here we'll see there are lots of hosted agents which are provided by Microsoft for Linux, uh, Windows, and 
these are the private ones which we have created for ourselves our self-hosted windows agent so we'll use this one rest of uh, these values i will leave it as it is our uh, drop is actually the output of the build process once it is completed uh, the artifact will be created by name drop then we'll go to get resources no need to change anything here agent job one no need to change anything here and now we'll go through the task so this task is for new get packages uh, then it will restore those packages build the solution it will pick up the solution we will not change anything here we will keep as it is test assemblies if you have test cases it will try to execute them and then it will publish the symbols and the publish the artifact finally so our pipeline is ready we will try to run this so save and then queue we'll ask for queue details we will keep it default save and queue once it is queued you will see this version here click on this and it will show you the logs the way the jobs are run by the agent you can see there are different tasks which one by one the agent will pick up and execute them while it is running this you can actually go to project settings here then to agent pools and click on your agent and you can see it has taken this task and it is run and right now it has become green which means it has finished running it we'll go back to pipelines build this was uh, the build which it just now finished we'll go inside it to see the logs all the tasks are completed there is one warning if we click on this we can see what exactly the warning is and it just says there is no test assembly is found so there are no test cases actually in this project so did not run anything you can click on summary to see the build artifact which is published and you can view the contents of this this will have all the files which will be deployed uh, during the release pipeline so in the next session we will see how we can use this drop artifact and deploy it in the release pipeline uh, stay tuned for the next session thanks for watching